All right, so now I'm going to dress up the enemy a little bit more. And not so aesthetic. I'm not going to put um, some kind of zombie skin or anything on him. I'm going to actually just put a giant arrow over the top of his head. That way I can kind of demonstrate some of um, the scripting. Okay, so what I have here somewhere is an arrow. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, a little tiny arrow. So we're going to take that arrow, make it a little bit bigger, F on the keyboard, get it into position. And then give that a negative. There we go. So now it's pointing in the right direction. I'm going to put this just above my enemy. That way I can know what direction he's pointing in. Notice this has zero rotations on it, so it's important. All right, so what I want to do here is just put that right above the enemy. So on the actual same tree, parent it right to the enemy. So what's going to happen here is this. You're going to find out, uh, one, uh, the arrow never moves right now because I haven't put any kind of code in there for it. Okay, so th the player has one thing that's going wrong for him is the fact that he can only point in one direction. That's kind of a weak enemy. Another thing that's going to happen is you're going to see that there is a sphere somewhere in the scene. And that sphere is broke because they broke it last encounter. So I'm going to delete it, make another object, sphere. And you're going to find out that the sphere is going to be triggering some stuff that I don't want it to trigger. So that's another thing we have to repair. So if I went in here and said rigid body, hit play, uh, fireball was shot. So I put a working code out here for two different scripts. Now two different scripts are reporting. One is the chase script. So right now it says too far away to chase. Okay, and then I get closer, charge the player. I go away and then it stops again. Fireball was shot. And right now it doesn't say out of range. So lots of little things. When you're when you're developing an AI, you know, you have to keep it very simple. You have to kind of make it so it's playable within a little environment such as this before you go on. So now that I showed you exactly what the game plan is. Let's go into the code of the enemy and then start scripting away. That's in the next video.